Hi everyone, and welcome to Sockos Tech Spot. With home automation being thrown at us everywhere, vis-a-vis -vis Google Home and Amazon Echo, I thought it'd be fun to show off an app that specializes in just that. If, if this, then that. The way the app works is simple. You give it instructions to follow if something happens. Hence the name, if this happens, then do that. This isn't the first and only app that does this. I want to say that Tasker was the first of its kind when it came to automation apps. Tasker is a full-fledged automation tool that lets you get into the nitty-gritty of all the configurations, the only caveat being there's a huge learning curve for the more sophisticated settings. It allows for a lot more customization in the end though, and I'll come back to this a little later. When you first open the app, you'll need to create an account with IFT, or sign in if you already have one. The sign up is necessary to keep all your settings and allow for interactions between other accounts for other apps. I'll show you more of that in a bit. All they ask for is an email and password, so it's a quick sign up process. The homepage of the app starts by showing you different applets you can choose from that others have created. Applets are the different automated tasks that you can set up and use for yourself. You can either use a pre-made one that someone already has created, or you can make your own. Honestly, there are so many applets that I doubt most people would need to create theirs anyway. Nevertheless, the creation of an applet is really easy, especially in comparison to Tasker. Going to the My Applets page shows your phone and the apps that have applets set up for them. If I select Android device, it will show the different applets that are configured to work with my device and also a bunch of recommended applets underneath. As you can see, there are a ton. Going to Twitter shows how many applets I have set up for it with the option to create a new one from scratch. Tapping on the arrow here, I can see exactly what is configured for the app. Back on the My Applets page, we can see a tab up top to see our latest activity using IFT. This just logs the triggers that go through IFT, so in case you see something funny going on with an app, you can check to see if it was IFT causing it. Okay, let's make a new applet from scratch, shall we? I'll tap the plus sign up top and we'll see the simplest setup screen ever. Our first step will be to create the this statement, i.e. we're listening for this particular event to happen. Let's click the plus sign here and now it will ask what it should be listening out for. I can't get through all of these, but the possibilities are endless. You can have it listening to see if you get mentioned in a tweet or a Facebook tag, check to see if the weather is a certain forecast, and a million and one other APIs that it works with. We'll make something simple for show. I'll set it up to listen for my home network SSID or the network name you see when you select the Wi-Fi you're connecting to. I'll select Android device and here you can see the different options to choose from. You can trigger events based on anything you see here. Now the difference between Tasker and IFT is that Tasker allows you to check for certain Bluetooth devices and I haven't seen that option in IFT yet. But anyways, we're here for the Wi-Fi network, so I'll select connect to a specific Wi-Fi network. Pretty easy, right? Here I'll type in the name of my network. If you have something like Netgear 024678 as your Wi-Fi name, you should really consider changing it. I have a link here and in the bio to see how you could configure a router. Hit the check mark up top and this part is done. Get it? So after setting that up, we'll see the icon change for this and it's set. Next we got that. Same idea. Tap the plus and select what we're going to be doing after the event is triggered. Let's send a tweet. Let the world know when I'm home. When you first start using IFT with other applications, you'll need to sign in to each of those accounts and authorize IFT to work with them. But as long as you can remember all your passwords, it'll be quick. I already authorized Twitter. I'm going to select post a tweet. Here it's going to ask what the text should be. We can add ingredients to the action. In this case, we can add the text from the SSID and the time it was triggered. Different apps will allow you to have different ingredients. But anyways, let's delete this and I'm gonna write in, I'm home, hashtag using IFTT, so everyone knows when I'm home. This probably isn't a good idea. Hit the check mark and we're done here. It's gonna show you a quick breakdown of it so you can review. You can set up notifications for it. At this time, we'll just leave it on. And then we're gonna hit finish. And there it is. Let's give it a try. I'm gonna turn off my Wi-Fi and then turn it back on and connect to it. Here we go, turning off the Wi-Fi. Now turning it back on. And nothing's happening. Oh, we're on the wrong Wi-Fi. Okay, there we go. Let's see if it works now. I saw the notification go off. And there it is. And let's now check on my Twitter and see if it actually posted. And there it is. Amazing. 
Ift can do a lot more so go ahead and check out all the different applets out there. I wanted to set up my LifeX light bulb that I did a video on a while back so it turns on when I got home, but they were experiencing some trouble with the Google services at the time so I'll have to wait until that's resolved. I'll have a link to that light bulb and the video in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope this video brought some automation into your life. Leave a comment and let me know what applets you're using. My favorite is that my phone goes to 40% volume when I get to work. It saves me a few button presses every day. If you like this video, hit the like button and feel free to follow me on my social media at Sakos Tech Spot. I'll see you in the next video.